There okay. we go. Hello, Mr. Hominoidy, and we've got symphony. <laughs> yes. Sympathy. <laughs> Yeah, not sympathy. Or <laughs> well, you can see my my real name down the bottom there. Um, well, don't stalk any of my you're social being media. Recorded. We're not going to discuss that. <laughs> it's it's there. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> well, bad luck. Anyway. Yeah, bad luck. Oh well. Oh my knee. Ew. I just forgot that last number. Was it? Oh shit! Wait. Your last number of that phone number was that a five? Four zero. That's the last two. Oh. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, because I stuffed up. Yeah. I don't know. What are, what are you going to do with me? Mate? What are you going to do with me? With what? Me. I stuffed you. Up. Anyway, uh, what are we doing? Oh, stinking sweat not. It's a bit weird. Oh, so symphony. How, mm. how long have you been interested in doing music? Um. Well, it's sort of like, I've always had sort of like a passion for it. You know what I mean? Like it's, I don't know. I've started writing music when I was 16, but before that I was always into like rap music and stuff like that. I could always really just enjoy it. But I started writing it when I was 16 and only last year I started releasing it because yeah, there was a whole bunch of things going on. I just needed a way to vent and I'm like, okay, I'll just do music. And then you mean vent is in for an old man like being to vent your, your mind out, vent, yeah, like yeah. How, how you feel, your emotions, yeah. Well, that was the idea, but then discovered that's a lot harder than it seems. It is a very um, hard to, it's yeah, as doing psychology, it's very hard to vent your emotions out through a song, but you seem to have a very strong gift that you can, um see something like i said i don't know if you have you seen the videos i put up about you yeah did you like the one i said about the picture that you took out on the i think it was the, the river mm -hmm. did you like that comment i did like that comment oh thank you yeah <laughs> you never told me <laughs> no I, you you have an eye you you do have a very strong eye in the sense of um in your mind to see something clearly mm. and you have the gift of seeing right through people uh you know if somebody's going to hurt you or somebody's going to rip you off or you can sort of sense that you can always feel you don't feel comfortable you to me are that sort of person you you, you can look at a picture and you say i like that picture i'm going to put that in my song because you can relate to it mm. it's like we had the gap in the ocean with a with a full moon above it Mm. and the waves and i said i think that's the ocean because i didn't have my glasses on and i couldn't really yeah. see it but I, was that an ocean picture with a moon in another one it was i was yeah that was a picture that i took uh one that's night what I, I was said. out getting drunk with a friend and we were out and we were just fucking around on uh so like there's this place that we go to it's sort of like a cliff area but it's all like fenced off and stuff but it's just, yeah. it's so good to look at at night. <laughs> you, well, you just said a cliff. I just went, oh, like you fell off. Yeah, go we, on. There's a picnic area. We did, we went that drunk. Um, oh, right. But, so, so you didn't really have a sober picnic. You didn't have a teddy bear picnic. Yeah. No, teddy bear picnic no. is a sober picnic. You have a cup of tea. Yeah. No, we had, we had whiskey. <laughs> Where's the Bundy, mate? You've got to have the Bundy. <laughs> Well, he didn't have any Bundy. Oh, geez, I wanted to buy you. <laughs> well, I was only 17 at that point. Oh, underage He's drinking. drinking. Oh, Kids don't do that. <laughs> so what are you now, 19, and you're quite happy? Uh, I Well, one of those is true, yeah. <laughs> 19. <laughs> you're 19, but not happy. <laughs> no, you seem to be happy enough. Yeah. Anyway, but you you told me a bit before going on camera about where you are and what you're doing and what you're doing for a living and all that. But you mm -hmm. are happy in your own way up there. You're a lot better than being down here in Sydney. You obviously you got your life sorted out to a certain extent up there. Yeah, I'd hate to live in Sydney. I think like I'd go there for like a little like like a week maybe <laughs> for like a vacation, but I couldn't live there. Well, you tried. I went to the Gold Coast for a week and then 
Sorry? Has Utah driven a cab down here for 17 years straight? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> and you wonder where I get my personality. <laughs> it sounds mental, that's why. <laughs> All the people down here, they drive you nuts. <laughs> Back in them days, back up to 2000. Oh my God. The things I seen back before 2000 rolled over parties, the festivals, yeah. the nightclubs, and, you know, before you were Just born, probably. Oh, yeah, yeah, before you were born, yeah. Sydney was totally mm-hmm. not different. You couldn't drive up George Street in Sydney without being in a traffic jam. Nowadays, it's just got two trams going either way and people walking. But mm. 25 years ago, it was a major traffic jam. That's wow. George Street in Sydney. Yeah, to, to try and imagine it, you can, just can't imagine it. But I say to people, you know, I lived, yeah. you know, I lived in it. And they go, well, what do you mean? Well, I lived it. You lived know? it. Yeah, well, I actually you, lived in it. You're a veteran. Yeah, veteran. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, veteran. Yeah. So what, <laughs> yeah. What's your plans with your music now? What are you going to do? Are you going to? Um, well, it's sort of like I'm hoping to become like an actual artist make a living off of it because i'm just i'm working now like i work a job and it's yeah i know the the worst thing yeah yeah it's the worst thing in the entire world i hate getting up every morning to go and like take orders from someone i want to like on my days off i get up and i do what i want instead of so you so you want to do what like like what i do get out of bed when i feel like it (laughs) well i want to have some sort of schedule like, even if I go professional in music, I have to have some sort of schedule. I can't stay in bed you all day. You must have a routine. Yeah. Your I'd routine have to, is, I'd have to be working. My regular routine is, is um, the three S's. Mm-hmm. You know what the three S's are in life? Shit, shower, shave. <laughs> <It'll be useful>. <laughs> <laughs> At least mum taught you that one. <laughs> yeah. I saw it on a movie, actually. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, shit, shower, and shave. Yeah, and... Um, Oh, mate, that's been around in Australia for I don't know how many years. I mean, even when I was a kid, mm. my grandfather used to say to me as a, as when I was eight years old, now, don't forget, go and shit and shower and sulk. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't shave. I was only eight. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a classic. Yeah. It's a classic. It's just an old classic, yeah. There's nothing rude about it. But anyway, uh, so what, what about an album? Have you got enough to make up an album yet? Or do you need financial aid? Or do you need to write more songs before you get there or what? Um, I'm working on an album now. It's what American. I'm I'm working on a project. I wouldn't call it an album. Um, I am working on a project that's, I'm keeping that, like what it's about, just down low. I'm a big believer in storytelling with albums. I feel like that's why we should make albums to tell some sort of a story or like explain how a person works. I, um, I got the idea from uh, a rapper called XX Tentacion. One of his albums is him trying to explain how his mind works and like the different levels of it. And I'm like, that's a cool idea. So basically copying him with that that's that's all i'm going to be saying for that but well, no harm i've got a few songs for it sorry there's no harm in copying the greats because that's how you learn you learn by your history and a lot of people nowadays forget their history lessons what their parents learned in the past and then their kids come up oh, i don't want to know about that mum and dad and then they go out and make the same mistake that is true that is true and that's why i always say to people You've got to know your history. You've got to know your railway history, living history, how to pay your bills history, how to mm. learn to live with other people history. Like, mm. oh, I'll live with that sort of person. This is what I'm going to cop. I'll live, live with that sort of person. This is what I'm going to expect. You see? So you learn to judge, yeah. judge people on their own merits. You don't judge them by like a book and their cover. You judge them by a book and their own merits. Yeah, that's so, exactly right. Say, for example, you come down here and I got up one morning and you're out there doing the dishes and I never asked you. Well, that'd be a big tick. Yeah. But yeah. if you just sat on your ass and done nothing for a week, out the gate. Yeah, kick him out. Get him the heck that's out right. of here. You just, you, everybody's going to earn their own merits in life. There's what that's I right. said on a live stream there the other night with like these politicians. Politicians want to come in. I want your vote, but then they sit on their ass and do nothing because I know 
once their political four years is up, they're going to get a pension for the rest of their life. And they mm. retain a secretary until the day they die, paid by the local parliament. Mm. I mean, that's not bad, is it? You're 20, 24 years old, you become a politician for four years, and you get yeah, a paid Yeah, you work government. for four years and you're covered. Yeah. And, and then get a paid secretary until, you, until you're 65. I mean, that's not a bad deal, is it? No. Yeah, the government I'd pays the secretary's wages. She does all your typing, all your mailing of letters, does all your appointments, all your bookings, mm. you know, does everything. Oh, good, good work that is. That's why people want to become politicians. It's, mm. not, it's not to get out there to help you. It's to get out there to help themselves. It's a, a few ex-prime ministers have said they've used their own office to help them get through later on in other jobs. They've still got their parliamentary sec secretary. But then again, if you want to go down the road of music, you're going to go, well... Um, as I say to people, if you're going to get in the music industry, you've really got to keep your profile clean. You can't. Yeah, do it. you've got to. You've got to avoid a lot of things about you've got to lie, everything. You've got to. You've got to foresee getting in situations where you're going to be set up uh, to look bad, dirty, criminal, or whatever, mm. conflicting, or compromising, or whatever. Right. Mm. If you. Um, I can tell you many rock stars that turned 65. Um, I think one was Gary Glitter. Gary Glitter was the envy of us kids when we were kids. Mm. He was 65 and he got uh, brought up on uh, charges decades old. Yeah, it happens, yeah. Yeah, and he was, he was 21. Now he's 65, the same as Ralph Harris and a few other big TV star celebrities. I think mm. I know, you know, I'm out of the music game, it's not going to go away. Well, those people grow up, boys and girls will grow up, and drug dealers, they turn around and squeal, you know. Uh, well, they're just trying to chase a bag. That's all that is. Yeah. I feel like you know, after I, like a I, certain amount all. of time, it's just for self gain. But as long as you keep yourself straight and clear on the road, you want to do music, mm. you keep the music to yourself. You release the music and the music goes to your bank account. That's the best way to do it if you can. But don't let yeah. these other people come into your life and say, oh, listen, I'll come your producer. I'll come your roadside manager. Because yeah. Like, I do, I, they'll mm. walk away with over 50% of your money. Mm. I've seen it all before. People, I told you who I've met in, in the past. Yeah. People, yeah, people are just... It's it's why I, I I don't know I'm still like stuck between being independent and actually trying to work towards getting like a record deal or something like that because at the end of the day that's what the music industry is it's a big money grab you know you all want your talent companies. for them to make money yeah you are not number one in their eyes they are mm. especially now with the COVID nineteen bias been around which you never had mm. any years of free life until that struck. Like you weren't 25 years old back in 1995. So you didn't know what it's like before COVID, right? Because you're only 19 now. So basically mm. you come out of high school, bang, you've been hit by a worldwide pandemic. Well, the music market has changed because people are now buying more music because they're not allowed to go out. Yeah. And the same as home deliveries. We never used to yeah. get home delivery. I still remember going down the supermarket three times a week with my mother with the old fashioned mm. push the button cash register. That's just the change in technology, I think. Yeah, but that I don't change think in technology, that's like COVID. It's still the same thing. <laughs> it's still the same. It's a change. It doesn't matter what sort of change it is, everything changes. And now you've got to live in the music era with a change of um, COVID. Mm. See, because yeah. you can't you can't go out to mass meetings and sit down with two hundred people in a room sitting up close to each other. Mm. I can't go out and do live shows. I don't do live shows because people just aren't letting me do it. I like I'd probably be like a little bit bigger than I am now, but it's because of COVID. I can't go out and do live shows at like bars and stuff. Hmm. Do, do you know how I got interested in your music? 
um, from no YouTube analytics. Mm. It's just the analytics. So I was sitting there, and then it popped up there with you going, "Oh shit, I hit it." <laughs> yeah, well, I focus. I focus <laughs> most of my advertisement towards YouTube and Spotify because those are the biggest market those are the things that people use the most you know someone refers a song to me they're going to be giving me a youtube link or a spotify link like who the fuck uses apple music i don't who i've got a friend who does and it's the worst thing in the world what, what everybody do do? uses what's easier sorry it dropped out my end sorry say it again oh um i push all my advertisement towards youtube and spotify because they're the biggest ones you know they're the biggest yeah platforms for for creation of of content so like if someone's going to be referring me to like a song or like you to a song they're going to give you a spotify or a youtube link so right. that's probably why you found out because it's where i'm most active well i actually got um uh, i'm gonna break your heart here sorry <laughs> i was actually watching a show and it finished and the phone rang I was talking on the phone, and next thing I heard your voice in the background going, oh, I hit it. <laughs> and I went, who's this bloke? Where'd that come from? And then I hit the button on the TV set. I rewound it. And I said, oh, yeah, this is interesting. And then I started watching all, all of you. Mm. And that's how basically I found it. I went, oh. So, as I said, it was analytics. It wasn't me trolling down looking for your name. Mm. It was the, the fact that... Um, It come up on the screen because I was busy talking on the phone about the, to be exact, I think it was the Northern Rivers Moulin Bar Railway Line. Oh. <laughs> so, and you're close to that, let's just say. I mean, like you're not in New York, you're not in France, you know, you're in Australia. Yeah, so I mean, I kind you of know where Moulin Bar is. So, yeah. So, anyway. Anyway, well, so when, when are you going to release your next song? That'll be the next question everybody's going to be saying to me. Ask him, ask him, ask him. <laughs> I actually released a song today of, on, well, it was supposed to release yesterday, but there was a whole bunch of issues. But there's a song out now, uh, 18th of December. There's a song out, it's called Different, featuring BRB Music, which is a American artist. He's, he's a good bloke. I liked working with him. Um, yeah, it's... I got a little bit of a crackle. Was that Difference? Difference, yeah. Yeah, difference like between me and you. Difference. Yeah, it's right. It's it's, it's my end it gets a little bit quite wow wow in it down here. I don't know. Why. Oh yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. The yeah, audio drops right. out and it just sounds like you're talking like a barbecue chook. My <laughs> heart. <laughs> <laughs> like you did that with a <laughs> oh mate that cracked me up i'll tell you something you had me in stitches lying in bed i love me i love your head off you playing with the arrow <laughs> oh mate oh, you cracked me up that that was great i thought that was really rubbing it in <laughs> i was only going to post that on facebook that was the like i post those videos on facebook or like i'll put it on instagram or my snapchat or something like that and then i just thought i'll put it on youtube too just as a little funny thing well, mate, if and something then, went off for over a thousand hits or something, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's not even like on the videos ever, that I expect. You must, you must let people see everything that you do. It's like what mm. Crudon Bear said to me from Houston, Texas. She said, "Don't you dare delete any of your videos." And I went out and deleted four hundred videos. Mm. They're gone. All that. Then they're, they're all gone. gone. But I'm going to try and go back and redo them. But they won't have the same content. They won't be the same as what the original. Never you could probably how long ago was this oh over a year ago oh um you can contact google support they have like a massive file like server thing where they have every video even if you delete it your video is still there you can contact them see what they can do well how about you and i talk about that off air and we'll see what we can do um yeah off air not on air but anyway oh good see crude on base she's going to hear that now she's going to get all excited over in houston texas you know her little blue teddy bear is probably going to jump on a plane and come over here and hug me anyway. there's hope <laughs> oh so if anybody doesn't know who crude on bear is she's a lovely lady in houston texas usa and she does a children's show and she runs around with teddy bears and she puts it in front of the camera like this 
and she films it and she does all sorts of comical things. Like the teddy bear goes for a car wash. The teddy bear goes for a train ride. Mm. It's something that's yeah. for kids, right? Sound, sounds interesting. Yeah, really. well, I, did, I didn't know anything about her until she started to leave me these comments. And I go, what the hell's a crude on bear? And I went and looked it up. <laughs> mm. She left me a comment, crude on bear. I love, I love you doing this in Australia. I, I want to come back to Australia. I thought, well, I wrote back, what do you mean you want to come back to Australia? She said, oh, I used to live there in Melbourne some 40 years ago. Oh, in Melbourne? What a poor place to choose. <laughs> well, she probably didn't know any better back then. <laughs> well, that's true. Sorry, Melbourneites. <laughs> New Mexicans south of the border. It's basically <laughs> what they are. <laughs> Mexicans, yeah. Well, my, sis, my sister's down there somewhere. I've never spoken to her for 25 years. <laughs> mm, yeah, for that very reason what I was telling you about. Anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Before the, before the recording. Yeah, anyway. Or well, the family drama, yeah. Yeah, don't need the family dramas. Just let them out. Yeah. They're not That's worth good. it. All right, so you got to... A song out now called Difference. Mm -hmm. And you're going to let me know when your next one is. Um, I don't have a plan. No, I was actually, whenever it comes up, you'll let me know when, when it, you bring it When up. it comes out, yep. I'll post about it. It'll be everywhere when I eventually get it. I, I'm hoping I get this album done before I get release any more singles, but I've got plans. I wish I really Constantly never did doing comedy music. when I did comedy 40 years ago. You did comedy? Mm, because I, mm. I used to do comedy and my people would say I could turn around and twist it. No, I'll tell you off camera. It's a joke. You said, oh, okay. Next time it's coming <laughs> I don't out. Get that. Next time it's coming out. <laughs> Constipation. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm going to have a baby. Oh, it's coming out. Jeez. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, it's terrible. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I used to do TV ads. <laughs> You know, you used to um, do TV ads. Yeah, TV ads. Yeah, I like doing advertisements. Uh, now, do you remember Bob Hawke, our former Australian Prime Minister? Have you ever heard him? No, I'm not political. Well, I he have had a very no idea. Voice, he, he, and uh, you know, well, uh, we're going to get in the pub and uh, we'll have a couple of schooners down there with uh, all the boys, and uh, I'll go put a few bets on that at the local racetrack. And uh, I head back over to Parliament House and uh, give me my Paul Keating uh, a couple of bucks to go wreck the state deficit. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, well, that seems like a politician thing to do. Yeah, that's right. So that's a sort of, uh, but I lost my voice now. I can't really do it. I <clears throat> can't do it anymore. <laughs> I, I've, got a, I've got a croak in the throat, so I can't really get the crackle of Bob Hawke. But if you ever get to watch a bit of Bob Hawke, you listen to his very distinct voice. I used to do it really good. Um, another one I used to do was Bugs Bunny's Martian. Bugs Bunny? Bugs Bunny, the Black Martian. The Martian that used to come down from Mars in Bugs Bunny cartoons. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, man, I would get you. We, we grew up in like in, in different Eras. worlds. Yeah. yeah, I know. But anyway, well, <laughs> I used to do an imitation of the Martian for Bugs Bunny. When they oh, okay. in an ad here in Australia. Oh wait, that guy. Yeah, I know that Bugs guy. Bunny. He wasn't. He he wasn't be, 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 well, I know that. who Bugs Bunny is, but like the Martian, just he's not a very popular character anymore in our younger generation. He's not in cartoons that often. Bugs Bunny, yeah, I know. He's he's by the dinosaur, but one of his offshoots was the Martian. He's mm. like, oh, you pesky rabbit! I'll get you in my laser beam. <laughs> you know, crap like that. You know, I used to do that mm. all the time. To, I know you talk about yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, you have to suck your lips back and well, am I good? <laughs> you know, I used to make all these stupid sound effects just with your mouth, you know, but now I've got no teeth, I can't hardly do it. Yeah. You know, like it's like World of Wars, War, uh, War, of, War the of the Worlds. Worlds. Yeah, mm. uh, a lot of people don't like realize a lot of that was actually recorded in a in a toilet. <laughs> actually, I can see that. I can I can see that with a lot of the sounds. Yeah, 
that do you know little noises like that to get something like this and hmm. like, that's that's how you get sounds that's how they do it now like movies you a lot of songs you listen to they they actually do that yeah old-fashioned sound effects yeah they're coming back uh ball hmm. bearings and a ceramic cup hmm. that's what i was doing with the um the gate on my instagram that you commented on like yesterday yeah that's what I was getting sounds for that because it's it's rusty and it's like it's just horrible and it makes like this nice screeching sound. It's really like it's it's cool. You when I put it in a song, you'll hear it. <laughs> yeah, good. You'll understand. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I love the city all day. I could go in it, but I'm getting tired. But because I'm mm. getting old. But anyway, I think you know that. Uh, anyway, we're gonna wind up, and I'll, then I'm gonna have a private chat to you after this. So mm-hmm, you're gonna mm-hmm, you're mm-hmm. gonna. Can you play some music on your end? Uh, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't play I can't anything not. of yours at all. No. If you want to hear the music, you're going to have to go to Spotify or YouTube. Oh, because I don't have anything on me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. So right, when, when this when when this gets released, it will probably be it will probably have music on it. I can just. Play. So you're going to upload this, aren't you? Well, if you if you you upload it, well, I'd rather have you upload it because now me I'd stuff it up. <laughs> well, it's all right. I can just I'll just it's all right. <laughs> you can upload it. I don't care. I mean, it, I, I mean, how many like, interviews gets the customer to upload their own video? <laughs> none. <laughs> I've never heard of that. That's what I mean. I'm over it. See, I don't care anymore. I mean, I don't care mm. if you upload it or you can upload it onto mine or you can send it back to me as an email or whatever and i'll upload it i don't care it's just mm. well i'll just upload this whole thing or whatever but um at the moment i'm just i'm heat struck actually be quite honest where i'm sitting here i'm absolutely sweating to death um it's about 35 degrees celsius in here with no air conditioning on so there's no windows open mm. because if That's i open up ridiculous. the window all you're going to hear is you know so i'm getting cooked <laughs> So what we could do, we come back later on tonight and do another one if you want it. Um, yeah, I gotta go do, um go out for dinner, but well, you got me number, you can ring me. I'm free around the same time tomorrow. Well, that's still so, gonna be the same temperature tomorrow, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's true. But we could do it tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah, just do it tonight, whatever you want to, just whatever you want. If you got the number, you can ring it. You got the oh, like I'm gonna be out late. Like... Phone number. That's it. I mean. Yeah, right nobody now. else's business, but you can just ring me whenever you want to have a chat and tell me what's going on in the music in your world, in your world mm-hmm, mm-hmm. of music, as yep. you say. And then I'll just pass on to everybody else who wants to listen. And apparently, a lot of people already watched your my little pre recording of you. A lot of people have. Well, they're How many? starting to because I'm not oh. really in, I'm not really the YouTuber for music. I'm I'm usually trains, history entertainment sort of politics and mm. now it's sort of like just seem to be getting interested yeah huh, so cool. this is now another branch of my tree you've you've i'm now going to have a music branch and that's going to be you because so i see i see i see, I see your videos my tree really... bigger see train <laughs> tracks you highways history whatever Very engineering I, I cover all those sorts of things Politics, your favourite subject. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love politics. Oh, yeah. yeah I know right. everything about politics. No. <laughs> yeah, just shoot it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> but anyway, so Mr. Sympathy is going to say goodbye, and I'm going to say goodbye, mm-hmm. and I'll just stop the recording. So you're going to say goodbye to everybody? Uh, yeah. Bye. Go listen to my song please <laughs> it'd be that'd be nice of you i reckon i mean you can if you want to just and tell I'll them how, you, you tell them you know. where to find you uh spotify youtube apple music like anywhere i'm everywhere and spell your name always watching symphony uh it's a capital s y m p h zero n y not a capital o that confuses people but you know i'm quirky like that so so it's a zero, not a no. Oh, right. Yeah, it's not a no. <laughs> it's, it's a zero. No wonder I had trouble trying to find it. That's why I said use spell it. Yeah. So it's, it's a capital it's a zero S. Because I'm because I'm better than one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. stupid, I know, but 
you know, no, it's funny. Funny. no, I think it's very creative. I mean, who, who's going to know? That? I think it's stupid. <laughs> no, I don't. I think it's very creative because these gamers, they're not going to know that now, except now that you might have told them, but they're going to try and put in a capital O instead of a zero. Oh, it's, it's a very common thing. I'm not the first one who did it. Well, I didn't know anything about it. So there you go. And I'm an old man. Yeah. There you go. But no, it's all right. You're never too old to learn something every day, mate. You learn something every day that you live. That is true. That is true. So you take 365 times 60. <laughs> I wonder how many times, how many things I've learned. <laughs> 365 times 60. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot. That's at least a big no, number. No, don't, don't give me a, a, a Spock or a bloody Vulcan uh, sci-fi buddy oh that's uh, so many numbers <laughs> yeah uh, not but, uh, that good at math <laughs> yeah did you know that they used um in sci-fi in deep space nine they had the the religious leader called the kai and they copied the sydney opera house for her hat <laughs> oh, that's funny. That. <laughs> that's, yeah that's creative yeah, yeah, that's right. They use the Sydney Opera House to create her hat. And a lot of people don't believe it. But you go and have a look, you see the Opera House comes in, it's got that extra little kink in front mm. of the sail before it goes up to the next one. And you mm. look at her hat, it's got the exact same kink. Mm. Yeah, so they copied the Sydney Opera House in Deep Space Nine in the Kai's hat or the um, religious people's hats. But I spot things like that. That's my gift. You know, I see things that other people don't see. I say to people... Mm. You got to learn to listen, you observe it. just hear, learn to see, not just look, and only keep your mouth shut, shut up and listen. <laughs> mm. Up when you've got to talk up and defend yourself. Mm. Make sense? That's true. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. But sometimes you just got to be quiet, bite your lip and say, I'll say nothing because that's going to cost me a lot of money. Or you can mm -hmm. turn around and pipe up and say, hey, if I don't say something, it is going to cost me a lot of money. Mm. so it's either way you look at it you're always going to be careful in life i call it the seesaw of life the seesaw of life you never know which way you're going to tilt mm. and then there's the other it, well i mean in a seesaw there's only really like two ways you can go in in or out yeah basically up and down <laughs> see seesaw of life you got your ups and your downs mm. it's okay and a roller coaster, even some people. Oh, no, they, say that. no, no, you're trying to get me camera sick on, on camera. No, 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 don't, 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 <laughs> don't you dare talk about roller coasters. Oh, you don't like roller coasters? I get, oh, get tummy belly, I get tummy trouble. <laughs> <laughs> last time I last time I went to roller coaster, a guy in front of me wore it. <laughs> oh, gross, that's what he said. That's funny, though. In the back of his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I got a very, very weak stomach for roller coasters. And yet, and yet I can go and sit on a boat all day. It doesn't worry me. Oh. Yeah. You'd, mm. you'd think I'd be seasick, wouldn't you? But no, no, roller coasters too like that, whereas a boat. Mm. Mm. It's not as sudden, yeah. Anyway, all right. So mean, sympathy mean. is going to get off. We're finally going to get off this big long chat for I don't know how long we're we talking. Um, 20 minutes. <laughs> Really? Is that all? I don't know. Probably. It felt like 20 minutes. No, I think it's longer. Actually, it's been less time than that. It's been like what? 15 minutes. I'll get out of it. Well, where, where's the time? No, I'm being serious. Where is it? I can't even tell the time clock. Oh, it's 4.18. We started at 4.02. Well, okay. Right. Okay. We'll keep talking then. <laughs> So what else have you done? You've lived in where you're living, which I know, which nobody else needs to know. Yep, that's very true. All right. So what, where else have you been? Um, well, I know you've been to Byron Bay. I haven't lived there. We only, I only go there with my sister sometimes so she can spend a whole lot of my money um, <laughs> on shit that I'm never going to see any part of, um, which, you know, comes with it. Um, I take it your sister's younger than you. No, nope, she's older. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's not dumb. Yeah. So <laughs> she's not dumb. <laughs> oh yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, yeah you just take the I probably shouldn't. Money, that's all right. Sorry. 
just take your brother's money. Yeah, because dad won't give her any. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> that's what she come out and sees you. Yeah. <laughs> She's not dumb. That's what I said. She's not dumb. No, no. Uh, we're all right. Anyway, well, listen, I'm going to wind it up. I'm going to go have a cold drink and I'll give you a call back in a minute. Anyway, so Damien from, you can spell it again, S, capital from S. Where? From Oh, yeah, uh, capital S, Y, M, P, H, zero, and Y. There you go. All right, buddy. And from Mr. Hominoid, we're going to see you later. <laughs>